Hunix is a desktop operating system, designed for advanced security and privacy. It realistically addresses attacks, while maintaining usability. It makes online anonymity possible via fail-safe, automatic, and desktop-wide use of the Tor network. A heavily reconfigured Debian base, is run inside multiple virtual machines, providing a substantial layer of protection from malware and IP leaks. Pre-installed, pre-configured applications are ready for use, and installing additional applications or personalizing the desktop, will in no way jeopardize the user. Hunix is the only actively developed OS, designed to be run inside a virtual machine, and paired with Tor. Today I'm going to show you just how simple it is, to import both the Hunix Gateway and the Hunix Workstation appliances, into VirtualBox. The entire process takes about 5 to 10 minutes, once you have downloaded the two appliances. To get started, open your browser, and browse to the Hunix web page and click on download now. Select your operating system, it makes no matter which you happen to be using, as the process is exactly the same from within the virtual box manager. I'm using Linux Mint, therefore I will choose the Linux option. Go ahead and click the link to download the Hunix gateway appliance, and save it to your hard disk. Then download and save the Hunix workstation appliance. Now you should have the 2.ova files. Go ahead and open the VirtualBox Manager application. Click on File, then Import Appliance. Click on the little folder icon with the plus on it, and browse to the Hunix Gateway.ova file you downloaded. Then click on Next. Leave everything as it is. and click on import. You will need to accept the agreement by clicking agree and, the file will begin importing to virtual box. The process should take a minute or so, depending on the specifications of your PC. I'll show the process in real time so you get an idea of about how long it will take. This part is optional, but these are the adjustments I usually make. Select the Hunix Gateway in the Virtual Box Manager, and click on Settings. Selecting System from the left panel, click on the Processor tab, and move the selector to select two CPUs, assuming you have a dual core or better CPU. If not, simply leave this setting be. Then on the Motherboard tab, uncheck the floppy checkbox and move the memory slider to 1 GB, and click OK. And you're done. The process for importing the Hunix workstation is identical. Click on File on the Virtual Box Manager, then select Import Appliance. Click on the little folder icon with the plus on it, and browse to the Hunix workstation.ova file you downloaded. Then click on Next. Leave everything as ITIS, and click on Import. You will need to accept the agreement by clicking Agree, 
and the file will begin importing to VirtualBox. The process should take a bit longer than the gateway. Again, I'll let it run in real time. To apply my optional settings for the workstation, select the Hunix workstation in the VirtualBox Manager, and click on Settings. Selecting System from the left panel, and on the Motherboard tab move, the memory slider to 4GB, I recommend no less than 2. Then uncheck the floppy checkbox. Selecting General from the left sidebar, and under the General tab, set both the clipboard and the drag and drop drop down menus both to bidirectional. Returning to system in the left sidebar, click on the processor tab, and move the selector to select two CPUs, again, assuming you have a dual core or better CPU. If not, do nothing. That's it, and concludes part 1 of up and running with Hunix. In part 2, I'll show you some things you might want to do when you first boot into the Hunix virtual machine. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments.